to speak on something. And I know you're probably having a hard time seeing me. It's real foggy and whatnot out. But I'm coming through the mountains, you know, and um, speed limit is like 70 miles an hour on West Virginia, Virginia mountains. And sometimes fluctuate to 65 all the way down to 50, depending on the sharp curve. So, um, what I wanted to speak about is, you know, I I tend to always slow down in bad weather. That's just what I do. Whether it be if it's speed limit 70, if it's raining or snowing, I might be doing 65. A lot of cases 60, but if I feel I need to, I do 45. That's just that's just me. You know, and I have people pass me, you know, flying this, that, and the other. And one thing I, I always look out for is if I'm going at a, a slower speed, I'm going to put my flashers on below 45. I'm going to, I'm constantly, even at 60, if I'm only going 10 miles under, I constantly um, monitor who's behind me, who's around me. And with, with, with that being said, With that being said, I'm 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 aware of my being aware of my surroundings, literally the back of me, front of me, so forth and so on, because somebody might be coming behind me at a super alarming rate. But um, there's cases, like I said, where I might have a cowboy on a freaking CB or whatever flying back past talking crap, this, that, and the other. Where obviously, if you could fly past and get around me, then I left ample room for you and I didn't pose a, 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 a threat to you on this road you just need, nearly need to pass me like you would do any other person so um, but sometimes I slow down like for instance right now I'm, I'm doing um, what is I'm doing 60 and, uh, 65 you know and it was this thick fog well now it's clearing up it's clearing up right now but if you could see this if you could see this car right here or the, the, these trucks ahead of me the fog was so bad that I couldn't even see them until I got about this close so and as you see it's starting to get get back a little back a little bit back in the thick of it but at this distance I could not see them at all and I was going five miles under if I've been going any faster I would have had to take, and this is a, a, a 5% downgrade, you know, for like seven and a half miles. If I'd have been going any freaking faster, I would have been coming up on them so close, I wouldn't even seen them until I got with them at least one car went close on. So, um, you know, I, I, I just, Where I'm getting at. Do you on this road? And if doing you is is at 45 with your flashers on, obviously be safe, be intelligent, be per, be cautious, and be aware at all times. And you and, and, and um, use the training that you talk um, that you talk when when you when you're on, out here. But don't let some freaking cowboy who, who, who probably knows these back roads, and that's the, that's the deal. They know the back roads. They're, they're out here. They probably hit these roads nonstop for the last 20, 30 years. But if you're out here for only a year or two, you don't, you don't know if you could necessarily handle that, handle that turn or that 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 truck at at 70 miles an hour on a wet road at a seven and a half percent downgrade you don't know if you can do that i wouldn't recommend it personally even if i did could do it when the weather get bad i i slow down i just do that's just something that i do and i recommend everybody do it slow the fuck down you you don't get you're not gonna you're not gonna get rich off of delivering that one load this is a, a long term, a long term payoff. The longer you out here, the more that you're gonna. Uh, the, the, that's how you're gonna get paid, basically. You know, it's it's not 
is not a short turn. That one, that one run is not what's, what's going to put you on top. It's not. It's the it's it's the a long term, a long term that that's going to put you on top. So you have to be. You have to basically. You have to maintain. You have to. You have to stay alert. You have to. You have to stay up on top of everything, whether it be maintenance, this, that, and the other. But you, you have to be at it for the long term. You're not gonna win in just one week. You're not gonna win in just one day. So that means that one load ain't gonna do it. That two second load ain't gonna do it. It's a long term. Is where you win. You know, when it's the long term. It's that gross. It's that net. It's not that one load. So don't kill yourself. Period. You know, if you're tired, there's times where I'm I'm hella tired. You know, I'm hella tired, and I could have just got off from got from home and slept 16 hours. But when you burnt out, you burnt out. And I get behind the wheel, and I'm tired. So I might take a 15 minute nap or whatever, pull over, take a half hour, pull over in a rest area. Who cares? Who cares? I run hard. People may wonder why, like, how the hell he's getting on uh, from down south all the way over to the east coast or from east coast all the way over to the west coast. And man, he's over here, then he's over there. And then how the hell is he possibly doing that? It can't possibly be legal. It can be legal. And it is legal. And what I'm doing is legal. But I team. And that's the difference. That's the difference. I've been running 20, 21 days straight without a break. But I team. I team. And I have more than one team. And that's what allowed me to do that. I don't put all of my team on camera. I put some on, as you've seen. But I team. When somebody get burnt out and they want to go home, I got somebody else that can help me continue on running the way I need to run in order to do what I need to do. And I pay them. Well, I don't pay them, but the company pays them to keep this freaking truck moving. And that's that's it. Now, if you, if you could, if you could, if you could get a team, I, I recommend it because it's a win. It's a win. Now, teaming ain't for everybody. Hell, teaming ain't necessarily for me i don't necessarily care for it but I'm, i do what i need to do other than that i wouldn't be able to get from down south to up north this quick and get this load then get that load and be over here then be over there i wouldn't be able to win the 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 way i want to win over the long term without being able to do team it's just impossible i can't run 20 hours straight five days a week, seven days a week by myself. It's impossible and not to mention it's illegal. So you need you need a team. You need someone. There's plenty of people that are sitting around with CDLs. Plenty of people are sitting around with CDLs. Plenty of them. Trust me. There's plenty of them. They just don't want to go over the road on a permanent basis. Some of them just want to say a day two here, two days here. Some might be with you for a month and then go home and sit down. That's their prerogative. But you can take advantage of that. Your company can take advantage of that. You know, because you don't necessarily need someone that's, that, that, that's um, you might just need them for that short term. You know, if, 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 if you got these runs and you need these knocked out and you need a team on them, and it allows you to win over the long term, then it, w it will pay for itself. You could pay them and and, and the, everybody win, you know? Everybody win. The co you winning, the company winning, you winning because you, you're getting to sleep, which in my case, I don't sleep very well with the, where the truck's moving. So I'm still tired usually when I'm teaming. I'm still tired, even though I may have been laying back in the sleeper for way over 10 hours. I'm still tired because I don't sleep as well. And when that's the case, when that's the case, I try to make sure 
that I listen to myself. I listen to my body. If, if I'm tired, guess what? I'm going to pull over. If I feel like I'm getting drowsy, I pull over. I don't even allow myself to daydream. If I start daydreaming, I pull over. So what I'm trying to tell you is this. If you feel in any kind of way other than the way that you're supposed to be, which means is driving professionally, pull the fuck over. Pull over. Who cares? Who cares? Don't we don't you don't we, we, you could care less about what this cowboy doing that he's able to fly 50, 80 miles an hour. Or, or that Swift or CR England took that curve at, at 60 or 70. You don't care. At the end of the day, what you worried about is taking home a freaking paycheck. That's what it's about. Taking home a paycheck. We all got bills to pay. We all got debt. You can't pay. You, you, you're not going to get a paycheck. I'm not going to get a paycheck. If I don't get a paycheck, I can't pay child support. If I can't pay child support, I'm in bigger and bigger debt. I'm in enough debt as it is. I need to take on that paycheck. So I'm going to do this as safe as possible. That's just what I'm going to do. I don't care about what this trucker is saying behind me on the CB. I don't care. For any of you truckers who do that, you're wasting, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time because I'm going to continue to do me. I'm not posing a risk. I'm not causing a traffic jam. I'm not blocking you in any way all you need to do is hit on your fucking signal and move the fuck around that's all you need to do i said i do it non-stop on a daily basis on a daily basis i'm about to do it right now it happens you are not going to drive as a professional driver drive from 10 hours 10 or 11 hours I try to do 10 hours I, I I can do 11 but I try to do 10 hours that's my cutoff it's around 10 hours I don't like to do more than 10 hours driving period you know and is, is, is it hey say what you want that's what I like to do 10 hours but as a team I have that option because the other driver could do 11 but I, we try to keep it at 10 to 10 and if we can't get it done with that then guess what it ain't going to get done. It ain't. But I don't allow I don't allow other drivers to dictate my driving unless I am making a mistake. If I make a mistake, I'm the first one to jump on the CB and say sorry driver. I apologize driver. Yada yada yada. If I make that mistake, I'm the first one to do it. But when I'm just driving along and and the, and the minimum speed is 40, and the top speed is 70 and I'm going around a mountain curve and it's freaking bad weather I'm not going to take this at your speed I'm going to take it at my speed I'm going to do me my speed say 60 when this weather is bad when the weather is good it might be 65 it might be 70 it's whatever I feel comfortable with period you know so this, this, this is just for again for this is for for all you drivers out there like myself the rookie and a vet out here to 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 man just do you as long as you're not posing no damn danger and as long as you're aware of your surroundings you know when i and when i say aware be aware that you know these trucks are overweight they're coming down these hills they're coming fast they go going on straight straightaways fast you know, as long as you're aware of what's coming behind you and you leave them an out in an opening and you're not causing them to get into a serious accident or posing a risk for them. And if you see them coming a little faster, like sometimes I do, I may increase my speed until they can get over so that's just one thing that I may do. So yeah, even though it might be at 60 miles an hour and I'm comfortable, if I see this driver coming a little bit faster and I see that he got a car on the side of him, for instance, I might increase my speed to 65, 68 because he may have a problem with, with stopping or slowing down. 
so but my my goal is to get at a comfortable speed at, as soon as possible and be aware and to get this load delivered because at the end of the day that's what it's about you don't get paid i do not get paid if i don't deliver this load if i don't deliver these loads I don't get paid if i just deliver this one load but don't deliver this and that load safely guess what my paycheck's gonna look like crap it just is so not to rant you know but man just just do you drivers stay in your lane don't pose no threat to nobody be aware and and don't let, I hate to use the word bullying, but don't let some of these rude, rude, they definitely rude drivers dictate to you to go at this speed or to do this at that speed or, or don't let them drive your truck. You drive your truck. If that makes sense to you, you drive, you drive your truck. You know, you you drive it the way you feel comfortable with, and 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 and, and don't. Uh, again, as long as you're not posing a risk to any else, anyone around you, which you shouldn't be anyway. You drive your truck. You know how many trucks I see on this flipped over on dry days on dry day this week alone it's been great weather i've been seeing trucks left at the right flipped over and i'm sitting here looking like how the hell is that even possible it's dry yeah we got it we in the mountain but i don't I, <laughs> come on man i see it non-stop non-stop and, and i see all kind of trucks in there it just ain't the swifts and and, and the, the big name brand companies i see all kind of trucks is in the ditch i didn't see a truck pass me uh 20 30 minutes going fast as hell then i come past because we, we got a traffic slow down and guess who's in that ditch not every time but i've seen that i've seen pickup trucks you know just regular pickup trucks and cars zip by doing this riding on just riding recklessly i just saw this yesterday and then the moment I get it caught up, guess who I see pulled over? Yep, them same cars. So man, th this shit ain't no um, rat race. It's not. It's not a rat race. It, it, this is a. This this is. It, 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 I will refer to it like that. You have you had diff like this. You had diff different um, in, in sports when it comes to runners. You have you have distance runners, and you have uh, um, you know speed runners. This is going the distance. You gotta go the distance. So when I mean a distance, I don't just mean just go over the, the this amount of miles, this that and other. I mean the distance. Getting all your loads done safely as possible. the distance because it, it if it, you got another issue too you take these corners too too fast or too hard or off ramps and your load shift now you got damages let me knock on something i i i i don't have to worry about that and they warn me i have i have um i have people warn me from time to time i call um water water bread all kind of different stuff and then they they, just, they set up their glass big huge sleets of glass and they overly stressed to me like hey if it's damaged you know this that and we're gonna occur you know um driver manager tell you like hey you know be safe when when i'm um, driving this i drive all the loads the same way so i don't worry about it because i drive them safely I drive them safely. I do. That's my that's my intention. When and, and, and do, do I slip up sometimes? Yeah, I slip up sometimes. I'm going down a steep 
downgrading that don't realize it. You know, the sleep steep like this one here is. Uh, yeah, I can tell that it's it's got a steep that decline. But sometimes you before you know it, you're picking up, you're picking up speed, you're picking up speed if you're on cruise, and you're not you you're not paying attention because it's gradually increasing. But for the most part, you know, it, it, I try to be aware. I be aware how when I get off on this e way to to make this turn to turn it correctly you know to to take it at the right speed this this is this is what I do I'm trying to drive as safe as possible I'm trying to I try to listen to my myself listen to my body I don't care if I slept 14 16 18 hours I don't care and if I get tired after driving this truck for 30 minutes I pull over and I let I, I let whoever I'm teaming with know, like, man, listen, I'm about to lay back here for about 15, 30 minutes. I still got plenty of drive time. It ain't gonna kill me. Well, do they get upset? They, hell, who cares? I tend to only team with cool people anyway, or family members. But but the thing is, I'm telling you, if you're tired, if you don't feel safe right now, if I didn't feel safe with driving. And this low has to be done. This is a, 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 a um, relay. If I'm late, it, it screws up everything. And it, we, it has to be done. It has to be done. It has to be done on time. But guess what? If I don't feel safe, I'm pulling it over. What you gonna do? Find me? I'm gonna still get paid. You still gotta pay me for delivering. You still got to pay me for delivering. And guess what? I'm alive. And your cargo as well. Off. I see I see trucks being unloaded after they flipped off. Over. I'm like, man, I wonder how much cargo got damaged there. And so, drivers, do you? Don't let nobody else dictate to you. You know, you, you, you supposed to be a, a, a professional driver. You are not to be dictated to by anyone but, but your trainer or someone with, with experience. You know, and, and, and that's what boggles me about, about the guys who jump on the CB talking crap and telling you this, that, and all that. It's like... Why don't you offer some constructive criticism? Why don't why you say, move the motherfucker out the way and out of my out of and out the my fucking bullshit and up fucking nah, 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 nah. It, why jump on there initially saying that? I don't do that. If I see a driver driving a little recklessly or swerving or this that and other, I get on the CV. I say, hey driver. You need to pull over. You need to go um, go in that rest area and get some sleep, driver. Hey, driver, you're going too slow, man. It's it, it's a little dangerous, man. You you might want to pull over, let people get past you. You know, that, that's that's how you should be talking to people, letting them know, like, hey, be aware. Be observant. I'm observing what you're doing, and it, it, it's dangerous. Or it can, it, it can have the potential to be dangerous. I'm observing. So therefore, I'm 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 get offering you some constructive criticism, hey. And now, if you've never been down this mountain or down this road, and you're not that familiar with it, uh, it the grades are not as as bad. You should be able to handle them in uh, in eighth gear or seventh gear. As long as you stay in seventh gear, you'll be all right, driver. You know that that's constructive criticism. You know, not that motherfucker out of way, motherfucker coming down, motherfucker and that. Nobody want to hear that shit nonstop, man. Move around. Move the fuck around. You know, but it's like it's like these drivers, they sit around and they they wait. They literally wait for for um. Someone to mess up or do something in their in their lane, so they can have something to talk about. It's like go get a fucking blowjob already. Just to, but move the fuck around, cause you you're not you're not offering anything to the to the so-called rookies out here. 
But you're the first to complain and talk shit to them. But you're not helping them. You're not helping them. You're not. And if I be honest with you, I don't ask for too much help on the CB. I call my cousins and people I know that's been doing this for a while. Like, hey man, uh, how do you feel about this, that, and other? Or uh, how do you feel about uh, an engine breaking in, in this type of condition? How do you feel about uh, braking? like this or or, or stab breaking uh, or doing um coming down th- this particular lane i go to them because i'm not going to get any constructive um criticism or advice from from some of these cowboys it, 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 I, it, it just i haven't seen much of it do i get some help on the cb yeah i've got plenty of help that's why um i keep one you know, outside from my, um, checking in, I've I had I didn't notice um, that I've blown a couple of tires one time. This happened twice, and someone let me know on the CB. Someone let me know like, hey, it was coming up to a dead standstill, and I was moving pretty quickly. That helped me out. You know, it gave me time to break it on down, and slow this down, slow this damn thing down. So, so that's why I keep it on, but I keep it at very low. I keep it at very low because it can be, it can be helpful and it can save you. You know, I, I hate, um, often, especially in the major cities, I, when they're not arguing about um, politics and Obama and that and and nigga 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 when they're not doing that, they let you know like, hey, slow down, coming up, mile marker sixty five, hey. Oh, watch watch yourself on my market 50 cops over here or man they do that they do do that people are still out here doing that but the vast majority on this cb is garbage and i understand why people keep it off i understand why people keep it off to me i like i said i still feel like i'm a i'm a rookie out here have i been doing it for a little over here yeah but i still feel like a rookie and i feel like any added help I'm going to take. I'm going to take. I'm going to take it. Why not? It, it it helps me to know that we come into a complete standstill still around this curve. When I approach this curve, it helps for me to know that. I'm not. I don't have to slam on my brakes. I don't have to do this and that. So I, that's why I leave my CB on. Any added help for me, I will take, no matter how minute. You know, but that that that's me. You know, but I'm telling you to do you. If it's too distracting for you to drive, then then you might do better with your damn CB off. I wouldn't recommend it, but if it is that distracting, then go ahead and um turn it off. To me, it, it's not that it's distracting. I ignore most of the time. I ignore it. It's just like um, if you ever play Xbox Live or PlayStation Live, it, it, they got they got Xbox killers on there. That's all they do is talk, 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 crap and cursing and whatever. That's all they do nonstop. So I've grown a little desensitive to that type of rhetoric, and it doesn't it doesn't get to me as much. You know, whoever I'm teaming with, they coming up. They come up here sometimes, jump on the CB, and get ready to cuss them, cuss them out. You know, uh, me most of the time, I, I just look at it and I tell whoever I'm teaming with. A lot of times, I'm like, don't pay them no mind. You, you giving them, you giving them what they want, which is feedback. I just let them go. There's been times where they didn't got under my skin, and I have responded. I ain't, I'm not gonna lie there. There's been times, you know. But the thing is, they cowards. The cowards because whatever they're saying on that cb they are not going to say in your face they are not going to say in your face i done been um i done, I done um for instance about a couple of weeks ago i ended up parking or i was end up backing in somewhere and i i, I was a little indecisive i'm like uh, i don't know if i want that spider i don't know if i want that spot i'm gonna go over here you know and um the reason i do that i'm very picky because i've got hidden before so 
I'm, I'm kind of picky about it. If I see a better spot as I'm parking, guess what? Uh, I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna go over here. But anyway, um, another um, um, cowboy want to talk crap on the radio. Yada 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 yada, yada. and this and this and this and that. And, and, and you know, it's a small lot. It's a very small lot. You know, but as I jump out the truck, oh, it's a nigger. It's a nigger, 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 nigger. This is what my, the person that I'm teaming with telling me that they're saying. But at the same time, do you think they came out and said anything to my fucking face? Nope. Nope. Most of the time, we all going to stop at the same truck stop at some point. But you never see them get out that fucking truck, do you? Nope. Nope. So talk all you want. You ain't gonna say shit to my face. Cause you're a coward. You pussy. That's what you are. You That's what they are. They Xbox killer or, or in this case they C B killers. C B gangsters. C B bullies. Whatever you wanna call them. Cowboys. But this is what they do, and they do it nonstop. I hear this shit at 2 in the morning, 4 in the morning, 5 in the morning, 8 in the morning, 9 in the morning. 9 at night. It doesn't matter. When I'm going through these major cities, it don't matter. I'm going to hear it. Nigga, 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 nigga. Obama this, Obama that. Nigga, nigga, nigga. Obama this, Obama that. This is all I hear. <laughs> it's like, wow. You wake up 2, 3, 4 in the morning doing this. You wake up at... At, at 9 at, at p.m. at night or at, at midnight doing this this is what this is what's on your mind non-stop you have that much freaking hate in you you need to bleed out already just go and do this if you got that much fucking evil built up into you you need to go ahead and buy yourself some few maxi pads get that shit up out you this is ridiculous there's no reasoning for it we got enough drama to deal with 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 people with attitudes who got to check you in or take eight hours to unload you while they sitting up there having 30 smoke breaks we got enough of that going on then to turn around and have to deal with other drivers being dickheads to the other drivers you know i can't complain too much i i have to say i've been blessed in a sense because I've gotten a lot of help from drivers. When I didn't know how to back, you know, I, I have drivers get out and help me. And I, I mean, man, it's it, it felt like it felt like a lifesaver. It felt like um, felt like when you ain't ate in two, three days, and somebody gave your ass a burger. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I don't know how to describe that feeling, but when you tired as hell. Your clock says you have no more drive time. You may have some shift time, but you got no more drive time. You got to park, and it, it don't ha it. It's not convenient. A lot of times you might run out of drive time, and it's not gonna always be at three o'clock where you can find plenty of spaces. It doesn't happen. I run. Out